Welcome to Kojak Recap. Today's movie is 13 Going on 30, produced in 2004, directed by Gary Winnick, starring Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo. Our movie begins in 1987. Geeky Gina Rink yearns to be popular, but can only persuade the six chicks. The ruling clique, led by Tom Tom, to attend her 13th birthday party by doing their homework. Gina's best friend and next door neighbor, Matt, also known as Matty, Flamhaf, who is secretly in love with her, gifts her a pink dollhouse he made himself and a packet of magic wishing dust he sprinkles on the dollhouse roof. The six chicks arrive with the cutest boys in class and trick Jenna into playing seven minutes in heaven. While Gina waits blindfolded in a closet, expecting to kiss one of the boys, the six chicks and the boys live with their completed homework and Matty finds Gina alone. Humiliated, she cheerfully wishes to be dirty, flirty and thriving. As the wishing dust falls on her, the next morning, Gina awakens in a luxurious 5th Avenue apartment. Her wish has come true, it is now 2004 and Gina is 30 with no memory of the intervening 17 years. Gina discovers she works as an editor for her favorite fashion magazine, Poise, with her co-editor and best friend, Lucy Wayman. Poise has been scooped so often by rival magazine Sparkle that editor-in-chief Richard believes someone is tipping them off. Gina finds Matty's address and races to Greenwich Village, where the adult Matt, a struggling photographer, is enabled to fill her in on her past as she apparently had become the head of the six chicks and stopped speaking to him. Lucy is revealed to be the adult Tom Tom, having had plastic surgery. While delighting in her freedom, Gina stumbles through adult life, learning enough to advise the 13-year-olds she preferred to spend time with. She saves a dull and awkward boys party by leading the guests, including Matt, in an impromptu thriller line dance. The following night, he introduces Gina to his fiancée Wendy. Her slowly emerging past reveals that the adult Gina is nothing like the sweet shy girl she was before. The adult Gina plagiarizes ideas, refuses to speak to her parents, and had office sex with a co-worker's husband. The struggling magazine is forced to redesign, and Gina overhears Lucy planning to cut her out of her redesign presentation. Gina returns to her childhood home in New Jersey, whipping in the same closet and reuniting with her parents. She apologizes to Matt and hires him for her yearbook inspired redesign photo shoot. Even though Wendy is eager for Matt to move to Chicago, he and Jenna begin to fall for each other. Jenna's plans to save Poise are a rousing success, while Lucy's presentation fails. Lucy lies to Matt, claiming Jenna decided not to use his photos. While looking for Matt to deliver the good news, Jenna finds Wendy, who reveals that their wedding is the next day. Richard informs Jenna that Lucy has become the new editor-in-chief of Sparkle after presenting them with Gina's material, including Matt's photographs. Gina comforts Lucy, who scornfully reveals that Gina was the one conspiring with Sparkle and sabotaging Poise. Lucy merely stole the job Gina was to receive. Gina rushes to Matt's childhood home, where the wedding will soon be underway. She declares that she's not the bad person she seems to be and begs Matt to give their relationship a chance. Matt realizes that Jenna is from the past and although he still cares for her, too much time has passed. But returns to Jenna, the dollhouse he made her that he has kept for the past 17 years and confesses that he has always loved her. As Jenna sits outside with the dollhouse, she looks inside to see a young Matt and herself. She begins to cry as the wedding begins, but as she cries, remnants of the wishing dust begins to swirl around her. Gina awakens to find herself back in 1987 on her 13th birthday. This time, when Matt finds her alone in the closet, she embraces and kisses him and realizes that Lucy was never a true friend. She rips up the homework she did for them and with this second chance, Gina lives the intervening 17 years different with her and Matt emerging in 2004 as a newly married couple. They share their favorite childhood candy, Razzles, while moving into a pink house identical to the doll house. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting the notification button for more videos. You can check out my channel for related content. If you got a movie that you want me to do a recap for in the future, please leave a comment below. And thank you for watching.